117 members of the Kurdish community in Australia joined protests that are being held all around the world over urgent concerns about the well-being of Kurdish leader Abdullah Öcalan. Because he's been in Imralı jail since 1999 and he's been in isolation since 2014. There is no contact by his lawyers, not his family. And two days ago there was a news spread that he has uh, passed away. So we are here tonight to put a pressure on the uh, Turkish government and all the governments that you know that we can um, they can hear us. We're not going to stop until Ab Kurdish leader Abdullah Öcalan's lawyer and go and see him. We're going to be on the street and we will uh, protest until so his lawyers can see him. We've heard two days ago that Abdullah Öcalan may have died. So this is an emergency rally to protest that situation and to put pressure on the Turkish government and especially the fascist leader Ergadan. The special tribute ends. Open gates of Emrali now. Today, Mr. Öcalan legal team, the answering law office, published a statement addressing the rumors that began to circulate widely on last Sunday about Abdullah Öcalan, the Kurdish leader's well-being. We share the concern of lawyers as well as their reasonable and just demanding for the immediate access to Abdullah Öcalan's and three other... Alive, whether, whether he has, whether he has been suffered death in custody, which is a, a problem that Aboriginal people in Australia suffer. A recent delegation has found that there are no rights for the people, not only the Kurdish people in Turkey, but increasingly the, the ordinary people of Turkey have no democratic rights. The Erdogan regime is cracking down on every right of the people there. Freedom for Ejalan! Freedom for Ejalan! Freedom for Ejalan!